my name is Hank Green. I spend most of my time thinking about how our brains can save our planet, and today I want to talk about airplanes. It turns out that lifting our bodies and our seat backs and our tray tables and the flight attendant and our honey roasted peanuts and the co-pilot and the 90 ton airplane that we're sitting in into the air and across thousands and thousands of miles is kind of an energy intensive process. And energy intensive in this day and age means carbon intensive. So people are working on how to make greener planes. And possibly the awesomest example of this, though not necessarily the most near term solution, is a British firm called Reaction Engines that has designed the A2 hydrogen powered plane. The A2, which is currently entirely a concept, is 100% hydrogen powered. The only emission is water vapor. It's two to four times faster than the Concorde ever was, traveling up to Mach 8. It can travel efficiently at subsonic speeds and at hypersonic speeds, which is great if you don't want to wake up all of Europe with your sonic booms in the middle of the night. It's so fast that it could conceivably, flying at top speed, get from New York to Paris in less than an hour. Additionally, to capitalize on the economies of scale, the plane is humongous. It's almost twice as long as Airbus's A380, which is the biggest passenger plane ever to fly and it'll be able to carry about 300 people. Now obviously the coolest thing about the plane being powered by hydrogen is that the only emission will be water vapor. Right now, a plane trip from New York to LA emits about a ton of CO2 into the air per passenger. That's almost twice as bad as making the same trip in an SUV. So switching over to hydrogen would be pretty amazing. But that's not the only reason why they're interested in using hydrogen. It turns out that per pound, hydrogen can actually carry more energy than jet fuel. And since weight is a pretty important issue on airplanes, that's good news. They're actually saying that for the first time ever, it might be possible to fly a passenger plane from one point on the Earth to any other point on the Earth. Now, if only they could figure out a way for me to get from point A to point B without stopping at points C, D, E, F, G, and H before I get there. The best thing about hydrogen is also the worst thing about hydrogen, and that is that it can be created through a variety of means. So unlike gasoline, which you can pretty much only get from oil, anything that produces electricity can produce hydrogen. So the green credentials of this airplane absolutely depend on how the hydrogen is being manufactured. If the hydrogen is being manufactured at a coal-fired hydrogen plant, that's not going to be very green. But if the hydrogen is being manufactured by wind turbines and solar panels, then your A2 hydrogen-powered flight will be entirely carbon neutral. You may be wondering why you've never heard of reaction engines, and that's because they're not a very big company. And now that you know that, you may be wondering where they're getting all this money to develop supersonic aircraft. Well, the good news is that the reaction engines project is part of a larger scheme by the European Union to create hypersonic hydrogen airplanes. And they're hoping, hoping to have it done in 25 years. So you probably shouldn't get too used to the idea yet. But we have to start looking toward the future now, because the airline industry is predicting that global passenger numbers will triple by 2050. The planes will be built and entered into normal service, and a ticket won't cost any more than an average business class ticket does now. And you'll just have to ask yourself, do I want to sit back in this nice posh chair for the next 14 hours? Or do I want to get on a plane in Paris and land in New York in two hours?